article comes out today and basically says, what is the point of selling the Xbox this fall? At this point, I agree. Phil Spencer was on Gary Witt's talk show and he says, we got really great Xbox Game Pass announcements coming up for the holidays. So unless they're gonna drop something that says like, get yourself a brand new Xbox and it comes with Cyberpunk, Call of Duty and EA Squadrons, all of those dropping on Game Pass day one. I mean, short of them doing that, man, I would delay this fucking thing. And I'm a fucking fan. I'm a fucking huge fan of Game Pass. I played Wasteland 3 all weekend long. I would have never tried to play Wasteland 3. I would have been like, eh, it's too slow. It's too fucking slow. I, I loved it. Without Game Pass, I never would have played it. There's a brand new game that came out today that IGN gave a 10 out of 10 to. I mean, seriously, if you want to look at ratings right now, Microsoft Flight Simulator got a 10 out of 10. This game, this something King's strategy RPG just got a 10 out of 10, getting amazing reviews. I think it's sitting at 91 Metacritic right now. That's 10 out of 10. That's Game Pass Day 1. If you want to look at like who's coming into Christmas with the best rated games, it ain't Sony. But problem is none of those games are really mainstream. They're not going to set the world on fire for people this Christmas who are trying to figure out do they want to support Microsoft or Sony with Ratchet and Clank and Miles Morales. So they need some bigger marquee titles that in essence, you get for free if you buy an Xbox this Christmas, an Xbox Series X specifically. Because otherwise, why would you buy that hardware? Just look at this anemic launch lineup. The Medium, which is Team Bloober, which I love when they're when they're hot. When they're cold, they're not good at all. But when they're hot, they're great. They did Layers of Fear. Scorn, which is that HR Geiger Giger first person shooter, which has already been out in some kind of alpha form. And apparently people didn't like the alpha, so it went back into development. It looks amazing. Who knows if it plays? And then there's some fucking Tetris bullshit. That's what you get if you buy it on day one. Like if I was Xbox, I'd be like, fuck it, we're coming out in the spring. Because you only get, it's a cliche, but you only get one chance to make a first impression. They come out with that goddamn Xbox and it gets just savaged in the reviews and on NeoGAF and on Reddit. And people are just like, oh, there's nothing to play. That's a hard fucking hill to come back to climbing after you've been knocked down already once better to wait come out when you got three or four exclusives and be a little bit behind in the race that's okay but you come out and you're like looked at as the shit system it's going to be hard to get that back man that to me if i ran xbox that would be my play wrath says spencer's trying to turn xbox into a service so why bother with physical console those idiots have an identity crisis i don't agree with you wrath i think what they are doing is innovative bold forward thinking and potentially reflects the future of the industry in terms of game pass but yeah is the console really what we need right now from them perhaps not we'll find out